Um, R.I.P. R.I.P.s are in place, man. Yeah. So, um, R.I.P. Sophie. R.I.P. Sophie. Um, tragic news over the weekend. Uh, influential, groundbreaking, innovative, creative beyond belief. Uh artist that probably defies genres but mostly aligned to pop unfortunately passed away suddenly over the weekend a really tragic accident according to the statements put out there um so if he was trying to look at the full moon and slipped somewhere and unfortunately wasn't able to recover from her injuries and um yeah man just uh again i was i was i was actually surprised by how taken aback i was by this loss and how much it affects me over the weekend I guess because I was thinking a lot about, you know, I was listening to a lot of her music during the week um, randomly. It seems to happen all the time. Whenever you suddenly stumble upon somebody that you haven't really thought about in a while and then you start listening to the music again and watch a lot of interviews. I was just, you know, I was in a bit of a uh, Sophie PC music um, hole. I was really listening to Charlie XX, Charlie XDX um, album from last year too, which was severely underrated. And just, you know, I was just in that kind of space. And then suddenly over the weekend, you know, this news comes out of the blue. I'm like, God damn it, man. This is so eerie, isn't it? It's always things happen. Either for the good or for the bad. Either you you remember somebody who you're a fan of and you start listening to their stuff again and then you hear about, oh, they're putting out a project. You're like, wow, that's eerie. I was just listening to you the other day. Or something really tragic happens. In this case, it's just it's just so premature, man. Like, Sophie had so much more to give as an artist. So, so much more. And i'm really bummed selfishly because i've never got to see her play live and i think it's always been one of those things that's always been in the back of my head whenever i think my first sort of thing that kind of struck me was when michael jackson died right because i bought tickets to that last sort of like show that was meant to take place in the o2 and then i was in the, i remember the day i was in the tesco express with my brothers you know uh buying some i don't know some biscuits whatever we were doing late at night and then, you know, randomly some guy comes up to us who we didn't even know and just says, oh, you just heard, Michael Jackson just passed away. He's like, what? Do you know what I mean? It's like, nah, I'm just going, literally going to see him next week. Like, what the hell? And he's like, flipping heck. And it just made you think like, you know, these artists and these people who impact your lives and, you know, because music is, it's one of those things, isn't it? Like, I don't know. It, it, it's just the impact, you don't really notice it until it's, you don't really notice, uh, I guess, a musician's impact until they're taken away from you, right? Until they're no longer around and you start to realize, fuck, man, you really, like, impacted my life in ways that I probably would never understand truly. Um, and I guess in just a purely fan of music side of things, you're really, especially when you're a fan of somebody, you're eager to see how their journey goes, isn't it? You see, you're eager to see how they develop as an artist, who they end up collaborating with. Will that project with Lady Gaga ever come out? Like, you just, you're just curious to see what's going to happen, isn't it? And then when it, somebody prematurely passes away, especially in a tragic accident, you're just like, God damn it, man, life isn't fair, especially during pandemic. It's just, yeah, I don't know, man, I don't know. It's just really affected me over the weekend. I, I, I was really taken aback by how much it affected me, man. I couldn't watch or, you know, listen to much of the coverage. I kind of had to skip past a lot of stuff. I just had a album on repeat and then went on a whole SoundCloud uh, discovery and just, yeah, man it's tragic man it really it's really just, um musician sophie has died um it says here the groundbreaking artist passed away in the early hours of saturday morning in athens an official statement provided by mix mag for two mix mag from sophie's team says the following um it is with profound sadness that i have to inform you that the musician and producer sophie passed away this morning around 4 a.m in athens where the artist had been living following a sudden accident at this time respect the privacy of the family is our priority we would ask for respect for our fan base and to treat the private nature of this news with sensitivity so if you're a pioneer of a new sound one of the most influential artists in the last decade not only for the ingenious production and creativity but also for a message and visibility that was achieved an icon of liberation alongside a statement of his team um, requested pronouns not used in this article and we refer only to the artist by name sophie the record label transgressive that put out sophie's debut album oil oil of every pearls uh, on insiders posted a statement on twitter saying sophie accidentally slipped and fell while climbing to watch a full moon that's the statement there from transgressive don't want to read that again don't want to get in my feels glass of selfie released uh on both labels such as numbers and huntley and palmers sorry huntley's and palmers 
uh, and then released debut album Oil Love Pearls on Insiders on the Transgressive Records of 2018. The album was nominated for the Best Dance Musical Records of 2019. Earlier this month, the duo um, remixed Sophie's 2013 track Bip. Numbers paid tribute on the Twitter saying the world has lost an icon of liberation. Sophie's experimental approach to pop music and use of vocal modulation to explore gender identity was pioneering. Speaking to people in 2018, Sophie said trans, um, transness is taking control to bring your body more in line with your soul and spirit so the two are fighting against each other to survive. On this earth, it can get closer to how you feel a true essence without a societal approach to having to fill certain roles of gender. Sophie Corrupt Madonna's 2009 single Bitch on Madonna which featured Nicki Minaj alongside Diplo and Mozilla and Toby Gad and Ariel Rechad. Sophie was collaborated with likes of PC Music founder AJ Cook, Charlie XCX and rapper Vince Staples of the past. And yeah, man, like, just tragic, and Really, really tragic news. Um, so much more to give as an artist. Uh, I guess the only benefit to come from this as well, you know, her music is so innovative and so timeless that it's probably going to live on uh you know for longer than most people i'd imagine um the inspiration that she provided so many people i see on social basically saying that they started producing music because of sophie because it was so unconventional so new so fresh um there was an element that you could do it to yourself right um but i don't know man just as an artist i just really really admired sophie i don't know what it, i think it was just the the kind of why it maybe it's a you know it's a kind of common thing to say but the similarity between sophie and david bowie especially considering how manufactured and bland and uninteresting modern day artists are for the most part to have somebody truly just you know startling to look at and the sound was just something so refreshing you just have finally man this is what music is about right you finally got somebody that looks just like some nothing you've seen before and sounds like nothing you've seen before and it just resonates with you right that just the message the liberation you see I, I remember back in the day this is before i wanted to act before i got to really get into music of watching random clips on youtube of her on stage and there'll be mad people just topless just dancing and then you looked at it you just thought that's pure freedom that's pure freedom of expression these people are finally getting a chance to just let loose and enjoy themselves um because this artist has basically provided them with a platform with a soundscape that allows them to tap into their their innermost being right like she like she said in that quote to connect your soul is it to connect your soul what is it uh transness is taking control to bring your body more in line with your soul and that's what you saw on the stage when you saw those people like you know topless sometimes naked right just losing themselves and you're like wow and that always, always resonated with me. Like anyone that can bring any artist that can elicit that kind of feeling and response from people, I take a, t I, I, you know, like I'm listening. Um, it's like when you see a, your first Death Grip show, you're like, okay, cool. This is something I've got to pay attention to. And, you know, you see Sophie's live shows, you're like, God damn it, this is live, isn't it? And I guess in my head, I just assume, you know, you know again, you take your artists for granted. Like never, this would be maybe a message. Never take your artists for granted. Whether it's sending them messages via DMs on Instagram, whether it's buying their stuff and sharing it on your socials and tagging them, however trite and corny and uh, you know whatever it may be do it man because you really don't know when they're going to be around again you honestly don't know don't ever take it for granted like i'm really bothered and annoyed that i didn't get a chance to see her perform live man she wasn't on this uh for long right but the impact is just so amazing man literally literally so amazing you think about the amount of people that have been this like i think i read a quote and it really reminded me because i think we're all kind of the same age same generation but a charlie xdx quote where she said ah oh, um the impact you know justice and uffy had on her when she was like 14. i remember hearing that stuff for the first time right i remember going to see um busy p playing at the not your arts club like this must have been around the same time maybe earlier um and just being blown away by that sound in it right that sort of um, what would you call it electro indie dance uh break b break is it break bot break bot um all those guys it's just like ugh. and then to see how that sound progressed and then to see like imagine now if you're a kid that's 15 and you hear sophie for the first time like excuse me 
the sound is just insane it's like no other pop record you've heard before in your entire life um and then again imagine for an artist like charlie xcx you're probably looking at it thinking you know there's not a lot of you around in the industry and you finally bump heads with somebody like an actual artist who's an actual artist right and you're just in awe you're like wow this person's insane right this person's like a force of nature I need to stand beside you. I need to just absorb whatever it is that you've got inside you. I need to tap into it. We need to become friends. We need to collaborate. And then, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just gutting. And I guess, again, like I said, music lives on uh, far past our physical body. So that's probably one of the only benefits to come out of this. That, you know, there's a probably loads, there's a body of work that Sophie probably has in archives that's probably going to be released. Um, later on down the line that's definitely going to be able to mend some of the wounds left there but jesus christ man yeah what a horrible way to start the, the year but maybe again a reminder like i said to just not take your eyes for granted and don't take it for granted because you never know how long you're gonna have them around you never really know you never never know <sighs>